Hello again, everyone. Welcome to a new Let's Play of King's Quest 1. Quest for the Crown. Press Escape. Okay. Press Escape if you do not wish to use the joystick. The joystick, rather than a joystick. I'll press Escape again. Ooh, PC speaker. Really missing the Roland audio now. <laughs> I know the remake, the, uh, um... They had a an SCI remake in like ninety one, I think it was. Uh, maybe it was ninety. It was just before they went to VGA, so it's still EGA. So it doesn't really feel that much like a remake. <laughs> um, I think that might have had uh, Roland audio. I'm not sure. Sorry, I just had to be quiet for that that one single note there. Just for you all to, to get that bit of PC speaker in. I know how much you all like, like it. Press any key to continue. Okay, and boom! We just had no introduction whatsoever. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, well, you know, what, what, what could possibly go wrong? Really. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, God! Oh, oh, God! Oh, no! Oh, uh... Misfortune strikes you and you have fallen into the moat. Your struggles and cries have attracted hungry alligators. They do not want to let you go. Oh. Well, shucks. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I love that death music. We at Sierra wish to thank you for playing King's Quest. We are very sorry that you did not succeed, and hope you will fare better next time. Good luck, Mr. Zero Points. Ha <laughs> ha, you suck. Hey, I resent that. So, what, do I just sit here? Yes, you just sit there. Just sit there forever. Uh, but I don't want to. Well, you could press a button, like, escape. Oh, alright. Alright, restart game. And look, we're back here again. Alright, so as much as this is called a 3D adventure, that bridge there only looks 3D. The reason it's called 3D is because, ooh, I can walk behind the tree. And in front of the tree. Ooh, yes. I suppose we should, uh, look. You need to be more specific. Fine, be that way. Look, castle. This is the castle of King Edward the Benevolent. Hey, I can't get that, uh, um, that nickname in, ki in Crusader Kings. I resent this. Look, tree! This is just a normal tree, but very pretty. Look, flowers. They are absolutely gorgeous! Really. Look, moat. It looks deep and dangerous. You can see alligators floating in the water. Um, and chomping, apparently, too. Look, Alligators. Oh, apparently Daventry is in the United States. The alligators are swimming in the moat. I thought you said they were floating. Which one is it, game? I don't think I can trust you anymore. Look, pennants. Oh, come on. Is it pennant? Fine, look, flags. King Edward's banners are waving in the strong breeze. Can't be that way about it. Jeez. Look, tower. Okay, apparently tower is the same as castle in this game. Oh, hey. Look, castle. King Edward the Benevolent, the mighty ruler of Daventry, lives in this castle. You don't say. Look, door. These doors are strongly built to keep out unwanted visitors. Look, bridge. It is a rather small wooden bridge. It definitely would not keep many uh, invaders away, since they can't remove it. Look, tree. You admire the beauty of the tree. Alright, well, uh, I guess we will open door. The huge doors swing open slowly. Ooh, wow. And look, it has Saturn floating in the hallway. The light from the oil lamp is rather dim in the dark interior of the castle. I don't know, it looks awfully bright to me. Look, carpet. I don't understand carpet. Look, 
rug? It's fine, be that way. Look. Armor. This is the armor from one of King Edward's knights from years ago. Okay. Oh, hey, look, we have a point now. Yay, a single point. Uh, so I suppose we should look over the uh, uh, menu options. We've got info, about King's Quest, help, save game, restore game, restart game, quit. See object, inventory, action, swim, jump, duck, special sound off or on, reset joystick, pause, and speed. Let's go fast for now. Whee! Oh, God. That is that is really really fast. Let's let's not do that. Let's go back to normal. That's that's like crazy fast. Um well, he is our king. Bow king. There we go. Oh, hey, our our hat drop fell. At least we picked it back up. When you bow to King Edward, his pleased smile warms you. God dang it. Look king. King Edward the Benevolent is very is a very wise but elderly monarch. His frail body is almost lost in the large throne. Look, throne. The king's throne is made of solid gold, accented with rubies. It will be yours if you complete your quest. This isn't a very good way of uh, handling succession, if you ask me. Talk, king. Oh wow, that's that's um that's some uh, wall of text there. When you speak to King Edward, he sighs and says, "Sir Graham, I am an old man. I fear my end is near. I have chosen you to prove yourself worthy of the throne. As you know, our kingdom is weak and poor. I have knowledge of the existence of three things that would make our kingdom wealthy and strong. Somewhere within our kingdom, there is a magic mirror that tells the future. There is a magic shield that would protect the bear from mortal harm." Finally, there is a magic chest that is always filled with gold coins. Go, Sir Graham! Go and bring me back these treasures. If you succeed, you will inherit the throne. So, wait a second. There's a, there's a treasure chest that is always full of gold coins. You don't see the problem here. Okay, you've clearly never taken economics. We're going to trash the gold market. I suppose we could go with paper currency then. That would be a, not a bad idea, actually. Now that you, th now that I think about it. All right. Now we have our goal. Go get the gold, the treasure chest full of gold coins, so we can melt it down, use the the gold for uh, electronics and things like that, and go to a paper currency. Sweet. We have a plan. All right. Bye bye. Um. Well, hey, we've got uh, we've got four points now. So let's uh, let's go ahead and save the game. Incidentally, you don't get any of these uh, points. Uh, um, uh, you don't get points for any of those things uh, in the remake, for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, you know what? Fast is probably good. Whee! Oh, God! Oh, oh, no! Misfortune strikes you and you've fallen into the moat again! What are you, clumsy? Oh, darn. Those, uh, those alligators are really chomping there. Alright, I guess we will restore the game. Man, we sure didn't uh, do very well on that, uh, um, that quest thing that he wanted us to do. Alright, now we'll go back to normal. Oops. All right. Well, um, so we have no uh, real idea of uh, where these things are. I like that they uh, we just uh, kind of walked right off under the ground, just phased there, I guess. Well, you know, now that we're uh, on another screen, this is a Sierra game, of course. Uh, let's go ahead and save it again. Uh, this uh, let's look area. I don't understand area. Of course you don't. Look field. Fine. Look rock. You see a large gray rock. Look flowers. Look ground. Alright, fine. Well, let's see if we can move the rock. Move rock. This moving rock rolls downhill, and you, unfortunately, are in the way. Oh, God! Um. 
how, how did I move the rock onto me? Really? We at Sierra wish to thank you for playing King's Quest, once again dying after only a few steps. You suck. Alright, we'll restore the game again. Okay, this time... Let's, uh... Let's not do the thing that the game expects us to do, and, uh, move rock. With a heave and a hoe, you manage to move the rock, revealing a dark hole underneath. Ooh, you don't say. Um, I didn't actually mean to keep walking there, but okay. Look in hole. There's an intricately carved dagger in the hole. Ooh, I will take the dagger. Not tay. Take. Dagger. You reach into the hole and grasp the dagger, being careful not to cut yourself. Because that's the type of person you are. Someone who is likely to cut himself picking up a dagger. Apparently. That is a lot of points that I just got. Well, uh, let's see. Game inventory. Ooh, look. You are carrying dagger. Sea object. Let's look at the dagger. Its handle is beautifully carved. The shape is bronze and very... The, oh, the blade is bronze and very sharp. That looks like steel to me. That doesn't look like bronze. See, it's clearly, like, silvery white in color. I think you're lying to me again, game. Lying! Lying! Why do you lie to me, game? Well, let's go this way. Just because we can. Oh, this is an awfully big tree. This is a very large oak tree. With branches stretching to the sky! Because that's what trees do. Look whole. You see nothing special. Can we climb? It looks climbable. Okay. Oh, wow, that that uh, that did not... Uh, did just, boom, teleported me up here, okay. Look, nest. There was a pure golden egg lying in the nest. It is enormous. A giant condor must have laid this egg. This is enormous. Look at this thing. Look, egg. The golden egg is smooth and shiny. What the hell could have left it here? Who knows? It's not like you'll ever find out. Take egg. The golden egg is so heavy you almost drop it. Of course, it's gold, so it's not like that would matter that much. It might dent it. Oops. Um, F4. Gold egg. The smooth golden egg shines brightly in the sunlight. Ooh. Well, hey, we're up to 19 points now. We better save the game. All right, well, let's uh, let's get down quickly. Apparently, you lost your grip while climbing this tree, and you fall to the hard earth below. Whee! Ouch! I'm I'm amazed. The game missed an opportunity to kill us. What could it be coming to? Seriously, game, you missed an opportunity to kill us. Are you really a Sierra game? Are you not just a an imitation Sierra game? Oh, this is interesting. Look, door. Don't be afraid. Get close enough for a good luck. Look. All right, fine. Be that way. I will. I will. It is a huge wooden door built right into the bottom of a small mountain. It has a large keyhole. You don't say. Um, well, we have no key, so I guess we can't do anything with this yet. Um, where did the mountain go? Alright, let's, uh... Whee! Alright, see, this is why I don't use the fast speed. I really need a... Uh, this should be the slow speed. Here is slow speed. Oh my god. That is, that is just ridiculous. Normal. Okay. Alright, let's, uh, let's go up this way. Surely the mountain will be partially here, too. No, it's not! What the hell, mountain? Maybe it's more like a, a butte or something like that. Look, tree. The tree is loaded with walnuts! Oh, well, I'm kind of hungry, actually. Let's, uh, let's take walnut. You pick a nice walnut from the tree. Oh, hey. Well, that's cool. 
I got a walnut in case I get hungry. It seems to be a good solid walnut. Let's open the walnut. I'm kind of hungry. When you open the walnut, you discover the nut inside is pure gold! What the hell? You proudly admire your gold walnut. You know, you're supposed to let go the walnuts dry out. I, I don't know if you realize that. I don't think it works that way. Also, gold? A gold walnut? Why do I need to look for a treasure chest full of, uh, um... Uh, you know, that never empties of gold when we've got a tree that literally bears gold and there's a bird nesting outside the castle that lays golden eggs. I, I fail to see exactly what, uh... what the problem is here with the economy. Let's go ahead and save the game again. Because I got more points. And this is a Sierra game. Look, rocks. It's a very nice looking rock. You don't say. Oh, there's a small dwarf close by. It would be a good idea to be careful. Oh, God. Ah, that little dwarf caught you by surprise. Is your treasure still okay? Nope, it does uh, not appear to be. So, uh, inventory. He took my walnut. That bastard. All right, let's go ahead and restore the game. All right, let's not go into that uh, uh, screen then. We'll go this way instead. Do 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 do. do. Oh wow. Um. Look, bowl. It looks like an interesting, colorful bowl. It is just laying here. Someone left it for no reason. Why would they do that? It is probably made of lead. Take bowl. You pick up the ceramic bowl. Oh, fine. You're just gonna prove me wrong there, game. You notice a word on the bottom of the bowl. Fill. After uttering that strange word, the bowl starts quivering and immediately fills up with a delicious hot stew. The bowl is full of a delicious-looking stew. Eat stew. You eat every bite of the delicious stew. I lost points! How rude. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm full now, so I, I don't need to fill it up again. Let's, uh, let's just go ahead and save it again. Now, let's head off this way. We'll uh, go around the area with that mean old dwarf. Look. River. The river is dangerous and powerful. There's a delta of pebbles on its edge. I, I don't think that's exactly what delta means, game. I don't think that's how it works. Well, let's uh, take some pebbles. You grab a handful of pebbles. Oh, hey, I got a point. The pebbles are worn smooth by the raging river. Apparently that's the name of it. Well, you know, I mean, how, how, how bad could it really be? Uh, seriously. Your swimming attempt proved fatal. The raging current drags you under. You are lost. Ah, oh, how rude. Aw, oh, man. There I go dying again. I guess we will have to fare better next time. And by next time, I mean the next episode. See you then, everyone.